couple of weeks ago, I was surfing LinkedIn and there was a couple of comments there about the need for a gas buddy style app for EVs that helped EV drivers find the cheapest kilowatts, the cheapest electrons that are out there. And in the weeks that have kind of followed that, that gained a lot of traction. We've started to see a lot of presumably vibe coded kind of EV charging apps that are coming out of the market that are trying to kind of do this. Some of them are, you know, kind of pulling information out of networks. And I thought, man, none of these are really being done the right way. And there is definitely a right way to do this. So I figured the best way to talk about the right way to do this is to get the guy who's doing it the right way on the show, Matt Teske, CEO, founder of Chargeway, my dear, dear friend. I have one important question to ask you here about this stuff. How do you get that much volume in your hair? <laughs> I gotta be honest. Uh, it's getting long right now, but uh, it's getting long. Yeah, it looks good uh, though. It's yeah, the volume with the salt and peppery, you know, look is is got a little something. silver fox thing going. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, when you and I met, it wasn't happening that way. But uh, no, yeah, yeah. that so, was a no. while ago. Now that was COVID era. So you had dark hair and I had no hair. We're doing great. I was gonna say our powers combined. We're we're doing okay. <laughs> Absolutely. But no, in all seriousness, so for those of you who are not familiar with Chargeway, first of all, shame on you because Matt's a very frequent guest on this show. We love having him on here. The The basic idea is that it simplifies the process of EV charging so that someone can get into an EV that they're not familiar with, open up the Chargeway app and instantly know where they can take it to charge, how fast they can charge and effectively route a map or a plan to get from point A to point B and very safely, quickly, and serenely get there without any trouble. And now this whole thing about this push for a gas buddy for EVs for the for the rate pricing, to me, honestly, Matt, it sounds a little bit disingenuous because even the most expensive Tesla superchargers that are out there, or you know, whether it's Electrify America or EVgo, not to pick on Tesla, even the most expensive one of those are still like half the price or less than filling up a comparable vehicle with gasoline. I mean, yeah, it, it, well, the thing that's the, the lack of visibility into pricing is, is created the conundrum of what you just described. You're like, it is like half the price, right? And in some cases, yeah, like in certain cities, in certain regions, yeah, that might be the case that it's half the price of gas. In other instances, it might be that the fast charger you select could be maybe as much as maybe a tank of gas, depending on the geographic location, because of how they've priced the electricity. So right now, and it's talked about a lot, there's no real visibility into all of this experience, whether that is, again, as we look at it from Chargeway, plug type, power level, how you know what your fill up time will be. That's what we've created better visibility into. But the pricing piece, it's more than just throwing kilowatt hours at people saying, all right, this one's 49 cents kilowatt hour, bang, here you go. Because yeah. they still have to figure out what that means from a math perspective on, well, what is my car gonna cost to fill up there? Because if you're plugging in a Hummer EV compared to like, you know, an Ionic 5, big difference on pricing. So each user, we've always thought that's from Chargeway, is just, it's about the car you select, that's what you need to see. And that visibility is what we're building out with our latest feature. Do you think there's also something to it that's very confusing where if you look at it strictly from the point of view of the cost of kilowatts, it doesn't tell you the whole story. To your point, not only the size of the battery in terms of how much you're gonna pay, but the speed that you're going to be there. I mean, there is a payoff there where you say, hey, this is 10 cents a kilowatt hour more, but I'm going to be out of there in 20 minutes instead of 40. Right. right. So that's that's a great point. And so that's part of why what we built out now within Chargeway. So Chargeway Plus users that have subscribed to Chargeway Plus will now have the ability to see what is my total cost to charge based on my current battery level and the limit I've set for my battery. And that's important to your point because you might have an option to charge at one price or another, but then exactly how you said it, if one of them is gonna take you 30 minutes longer compared to the other, you need to have visibility into those details so you can make an educated decision. And that's the fun part is in Chargeway now, for Chargeway Plus users, if you're in the map and you've got your battery level set, you basically tap the station pin, it's gonna tell you your plug type by color, what is the power level right on the map so you'll know what your wait time will be for charging time, and then you will see real-time availability for chargers, as well as your total cost to charge in one view. That's a big deal for EV owners because that is what we've lacked is transparency about how this all works. And that's what we've been trying to create. 
Well, and the lack of transparency is really interesting too, right? Because it's not like a gas station where you're, you know, driving down the road and you see two or three different signs and you can kind of see this one's four cents less or 10 cents less. Yeah. They can kind of charge whatever they want because unless you're on that network and even within that network, sometimes it's not super clear what you're paying for once you plug in. So I totally agree. This is something, uh, idea whose time has come and uh I, oddly enough it it's coming this weekend you're showing this off for the first time live at the electrify expo in new york yeah so we've we wanted to really get this buttoned up in a way that we could showcase it not only to drivers but also to industry and so we one of our partners for example is the new york power authority and we work with them on again education and simplifying how charging works and one of the first places we're going to be able to showcase this at, is at industry day in new york at electrify expo where the new york power authority will be on site they again they leverage our software as part of their displays and really this is where we'll be able to showcase to industry this is transparency this is visibility into what drivers need to know. And it's not just on information just being out there that they then have to parse. We're doing all that thinking for them. Once they tell us the car they're driving and what their battery level is, we do the rest. And that is something that I think is really, really going to be important to drivers moving forward. You mentioned something really interesting there. For people who have Chargeway, who are Chargeway casuals like myself, because I have a plug-in hybrid and I basically use it mostly when I'm on the road. I have a rental EV or I've got one from Turo sure. or something and I'm and I'm driving it that way. Our mutual friend Tim Hayden swears by this, by the way. He hops into a Tesla with the, his Turo app, opens up Chargeway, figures out where he's at and where he's going and does the whole thing that way. Awesome. But you're talking about Chargeway Plus, which, as you said, connects to the car gives you that live sort of uh, state of charge. Is that going to then tell me, uh, you know, live when I look at my phone, it's going to tell me how much it's going to cost me to top this thing off? Yes, that's exactly what it'll do. So as a Chargeway Plus user, it'll it'll have, it'll detect your real-time state of charge. And so once you set your charge limit, whether you want it to be 80% or maybe 100 because you're going on a road trip, with that information said, once you're clicking around the station map, we're going to have real-time pricing for over half of the public chargers in North America when we release this. And we'll be rolling out more real-time pricing as the months wear on. And that is, again, the, the feature for Chargeway Plus is you can connect your car as an option for this feature. So, for example, you can subscribe to Chargeway Plus to get all this real-time pricing information along with real-time status, along with your plug type and power level being visible. But if you opt to say... I don't want to connect my car for some reason. You can then just manually adjust your battery level inside of the app. And then you could, for example, then guesstimate what, like if you were at 1% or 10%, what that could look like. And it gives you some flexibility as a Chargeway Plus user. That's cool. So there is kind of a workaround if you're in somebody else's car and you're trying to charge up. I like that. Yep. You keep saying real-time pricing. And I, and I know that we're, we keep emphasizing real-time pricing. And I think in most people's heads, when they hear that, they're thinking like a gas station where it goes up and down and changes from day to day. Right. But with electric pricing, the price of electricity, if you're in some markets that have you know uh, peak pricing, peak demand pricing, or even off-peak pricing, that can be a huge difference even within the same charger. Yep, exactly. That's And that's something that the industry, again, utilities understand this really well, and they manage it with their partners like Charging Networks and others. But that that visibility for what drivers need to see is a big part of what we're trying to then showcase through this new feature is you might, for example, look at the time of day, and we, and we will visualize this for on a given station that has different prices throughout the day, is you might see that it's $20 to charge right now, but later on in the day, it might be cheaper or more expensive. And so you can then have an educated understanding of when you should charge based on these factors of electricity that, to your point, that's not how gasoline works. Gas price is just set for the day. Maybe the next day it might change. But for electricity, depending on the station, it might be variable throughout the day. And as a driver, you want to know that. And that's what this feature showcases. Is it going to tell me which charging stations have the best two for one hot dog deals? <laughs> well, <laughs> at every single station detail screen for Chargeway, we have amenities listed right next to the overview information where the pricing people is. People thought I was messing with you, but I was actually setting you up for the amenity screen, which is my favorite screen, because I will often choose a charger based on what's nearby. Well, that, we people tell us that all the time that are using Chargeway. They'll say, yeah, actually, for example, I looked at this and I thought, okay, there's in Chargeway, we have levels one through seven for power. And they'll say, there's a level six charger and a level seven charger, but the level six charger across the street actually has a restaurant I like going to. So I'm cool with waiting longer to charge just so I can eat at that restaurant. And so yeah. th those little factors combined happen all the time, but 
we have to give people quick visualizations into how they can understand what those options look like. And that's what we wanted to build. So I think it's especially critical for EVs too, right? Because if you are going on a road trip on a gas station for whatever, let's say you're on I-80 and you see the sign and you're like, man, I really want to stop and get the Gloria Jean's coffee and not the <laughs> Starbucks. Right? right. And that's another 22 miles away. Oh, I've got a quarter tank. It's no problem. I'll just get gas over there and do it all in one shot with an EV without that kind of signage on the road where you, if you don't have the app, you don't have that visibility. You may not know that's an option, which is why an app like Chargeway, I think, is, is so mission critical. Let me ask you this next question here. We are now in an era of adapters, right? Mm -hmm. If you've got an existing EV, you now probably have a Tesla supercharger adapter. Maybe you have a Tesla and you have a CCS adapter and you're going on a road trip in one of these. Does it make sense or is it just like, am I getting too far in the weeds here to say like, Hmm, let me compare the adapter price to the non-adapter price and see if I come out ahead stopping at a Tesla charger or if I should keep going to this Electrify America deal. No, that makes perfect sense. And that's one of the first things we really started testing as we were building out this feature was, for example, if you are a Tesla owner, you get different pricing at a charging station at a supercharger compared to non-Tesla owners. And so these little factors. Oh, matter. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's big. Yep. So if you're a Tesla owner, you're always going to get a cheaper price as a supercharger. That's that's just how it goes. And so if it, it if you're a Tesla owner and you want to use adapters outside of the supercharger network or vice versa, you want to know what is that going to mean for you. So if you activate your adapters in the Chargeway app in the filter section, just like we've been discussing, you could have a station that wasn't visible at first, but you turn on your supercharger adapter, and now you've got a supercharger across the street from another fast charger with your native plug, like the green plug. You can tap between those two stations and you might see a stark contrast in pricing and they might be the same power level and you might go, whoa. So then it's price, power, wait time, and then to your point, maybe the nearby amenities, but all of that is a click away. And that's really what we wanted to create was something that just one tap, you get visualization into all of what you want to know. And then if you then decide to choose based on food, go into each station info, look at the amenities nearby and choose your restaurant. I love it. To the point that our mutual friend Eric made about the need for a gas buddy for chargers. Have you considered calling this feature the charge buddy? <laughs> no, uh, I think chargeway has always been defined by it's the way you charge. It's chargeway. And so, um, yeah, no, not, not looking. Dude, I've known anything. you for seven years and I've never put that together. Yeah. That's I was laying in bed when I thought of the name, I was like, it, we need to show people the way they charge chargeway. Chargeway. Yeah. This so I mean, the way. That, this is the way. So no, yeah, we're not no, no new branding. It really is about showing people that Chargeway and then Chargeway Plus users that that have access to this feature. I think it's going to really set the stage for what a lot of discussion we have all the time, whether that's in owners groups or on LinkedIn or in the industry, is we need to provide the public with better visibility into all of what's happening in a way that is simple for them to navigate. And that's I think we've captured that really with this new update is. It's price, it's plug type, it's power and wait time, it's availability uh, in one app. And and that's the detail that a lot of folks have been asking for for a long time. So we're, we're really excited about this. Yeah, I think you should be. And I think for anybody who hasn't downloaded this yet, make it real easy for you to download that. And when you go to my article, scroll down to the bottom, about 50% of the time, it kind of randomly clocks in and out. You'll see the Chargeway link there and you can download it there as well. Matt, uh, obviously we are pre-recording this through the magic of technology, and uh, this will be released the day that you will be at Industry Day in New York for Electrify Expo. So if you are in the New York area, or maybe even in the New Jersey area, welcome mm -hmm. to Earth. Head on over to the Electrify Expo. You can play with this live. You can talk to Matt there. He's going to be hosting the, uh, what is it called now? The the EV reality check space. The yeah. EV reality check space. You're going to be hosting there, doing some live episodes, live recordings, talking to industry leaders. And uh, yeah, all the people in this industry do definitely need to uh, hear what you have to say, because I think you're doing this the right way. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely shocked that it took me this long to figure out. That's why it's called Chargeway. <laughs> well, I'm that's not broadcasting that to the world, but hey, our logo is also- Maybe you should. I think that's great.